The world's financial centers were rocked by a single headline. Beijing announces a $50 billion Thai Canal deal, newsrooms scrambled, stock exchanges buzzed and a quiet panic set in across Asia. This wasn't just about infrastructure, it was a bold move to reshape global trade and power. The long-theorized Kra Canal was suddenly real, backed by China's economic might. Financial analysts and military strategists worked overnight, eyeing the vulnerable Strait of Malacca. The project was a direct challenge to the existing maritime order, with implications for oil prices and naval power. $50 billion, enough to build cities or in this case, carve a new path through Thailand. China's announcement was a signal. It was no longer just participating in the global system, but actively shaping it. Southeast Asia felt the shock first. Singapore and Malaysia, whose ports thrived on Malacca traffic, faced existential threats. Thailand meanwhile balanced excitement over potential wealth with fears about environmental and political costs. The world was forced to ask, what does this mean for us? The economic models of entire nations were suddenly at risk. The promise of prosperity was tempting, but the price, environmental and political, remained unknown. The world watched, breath held, as a new era in Asian trade and strategy began. The rules of the game had changed overnight. The Kra Canal is a man-made river slicing across Thailand's narrowest point, the Isthmus of Kra. For centuries, ships detoured through the congested, pirate-prone Strait of Malacca. The canal offers a direct shortcut from the Andaman Sea to the Gulf of Thailand, a Panama Canal of the East. By bypassing Malacca, ships save up to five days and millions in costs each year. The canal is planned to be over 100 kilometers long, deep and wide enough for the world's largest vessels. It's not just a channel, new, deep sea, ports, industrial zones, and cities will rise at both ends. This is infrastructure on a historic scale, set to redraw the map of global trade. Thailand stands to gain a powerful new economic engine. But the canal will divert traffic from old routes, threatening the fortunes of Singapore and Malaysia. Human engineering, fueled by Chinese ambition, is challenging the geography that made Singapore rich. The global flow of goods is about to be rerouted. The world's trade map is being redrawn before our eyes. The Kra Canal's design is a feat of modern engineering, built for the future of shipping, stretching over 100 kilometers up to 400 meters wide and 30 meters deep. It will handle the world's largest ships with ease. Massive tunnel boring machines and dredgers will carve the channel, while a dual channel system allows two-way traffic to prevent bottlenecks. Advanced satellite navigation and centralized traffic control will manage the flow, like air traffic control for ships. At each end, automated deep water ports will use robotic cranes and vehicles for lightning-fast cargo handling. These ports will connect to new highways and high-speed rail, linking the canal to industrial zones across Southeast Asia. The vision. A seamless, economic belt where goods move from sea to land with maximum efficiency. The canal isn't just a passage, it's an integrated logistics platform. Designers have learned from the limitations of the Panama and Suez canals, building for the next century's ships and traffic. This is a leap forward, combining capital, technology, and strategic vision. The Kra Canal is more than a shortcut, it's a new ecosystem for trade and industry. It's a bold statement of ambition on a global scale. Great canals have always changed the world, not just shipping routes. The Suez Canal slashed travel times between Europe and Asia, fueling empires and global trade. The Panama Canal linked the Atlantic and Pacific, cementing America's two ocean power. These projects were Western-led, symbols of their era's power. The Kra Canal is the 21st century equivalent, an Asian project driven by Chinese capital and Thai ambition. Its logic is the same, create a shortcut, gain strategic advantage, and challenge old choke points. Nearly a third of global trade passes through the Malacca Strait. The Kra Canal offers an alternative. This isn't just about efficiency, it's about shifting the global center of gravity. The power to build world-changing infrastructure is no longer the West's alone. Whoever controls the Great Canals holds immense power. The Kra Canal signals a new era, with Asia at the helm. The question, how will this new center of power use its leverage? The world is watching and history is being rewritten. Why is China investing $50 billion in the Kra Canal? It's a key piece of the Belt and Road Initiative, Xi Jinping's vision to connect China to the world. The canal solves China's Malacca dilemma. 80% of its oil imports pass through the vulnerable Strait of Malacca. 
A new route means safer, faster energy supplies and less risk of blockade. The canal also expands China's influence, giving it leverage over Thailand and Southeast Asia. It's a strategic tool. By building the canal, China becomes the indispensable partner in the region. For China's Navy, the canal is a shortcut between the South China Sea and Indian Ocean, challenging U.S. dominance. The project is a bold statement. China is reshaping the regional order and bypassing the old, U.S.-led system. The canal is a symbol of China's rise and its determination to secure its place as a global power. It's not just about trade. It's about rewriting the strategic geography of Asia. The world is witnessing China's ambition carved into the earth. The Kra Canal announcement sent shockwaves through Singapore and Malaysia, whose prosperity depends on Malacca's shipping lanes. Their ports among the world's busiest face a direct threat as traffic and billions in revenue could be diverted north. For Singapore, the risk is existential. The canal could hollow out its maritime economy. Behind official calm, anxiety runs deep about losing their central role in Asian shipping. India is also alarmed. The canal gives China's navy faster access to the Indian Ocean challenging India's regional dominance. The String of Pearls strategy, Chinese-funded ports across the Indian Ocean, now has its crown jewel. The US sees the canal as a challenge to its security role in Asia, with China setting the rules for a new strategic waterway. American influence could wane, complicating its ability to operate freely in the region. The canal is a new front in the US-China rivalry, with regional powers forced to rethink their strategies. The project is more than economic, it's a shift in the balance of power. The stakes are high, and the competition is just beginning. Asia's future is being rewritten, one canal at a time. The Kra Canal's economic promise comes with steep costs for Thailand. Excavating a 100-kilometer channel threatens rainforests, wetlands and endangered species. Disrupted drainage could cause floods and droughts, devastating local farms, dredging and port construction risks smothering coral reefs and fisheries, harming coastal communities and tourism. Oil spills and pollution from increased shipping could cause irreversible damage. The canal would physically divide Thailand, fueling separatist tensions and displacing thousands. Many fear local communities will bear the brunt, while benefits flow to elites and foreign investors. Heavy Chinese financing raises concerns about sovereignty and debt traps. The project could turn Thailand into a client state, caught between great powers. The price of progress may be Thailand's independence and environment. The Kra Canal will create clear winners and losers in the new geopolitical landscape. Thailand could see an economic boom, jobs, new industries and billions in transit fees. If managed well, it could rival Singapore as a regional powerhouse. China stands to gain most securing energy routes, expanding influence, and showcasing its global ambitions. The canal is a physical symbol of Chinese power in Southeast Asia, but Singapore and Malaysia face economic threats as shipping traffic and relevance shift away. Their port-centric economies could stagnate, losing their geographic advantage. The US, India and Japan see a strategic setback as China's influence grows. The canal could become a Chinese-controlled artery, altering the Indo-Pacific balance. In this zero-sum game, China's gain is its rival's loss. The stakes are enormous, and the world order is in flux. The canal is reshaping the region's future, one ship at a time. The Kra Canal is more than an engineering feat, it's a new fault line in global power. It promises a more efficient, interconnected trading system, shortening supply chains and spurring growth. But it's also a symbol of division, deepening the US-China rivalry, and creating new dependencies. Nations like Thailand are drawn into China's orbit, while old partners like Singapore are sidelined. The canal is a tool in a high-stakes contest for influence and control over Asia's future. It challenges the US-led order of open sea lanes, suggesting a future where access depends on political alignment. The world could be divided into competing blocks, each with its own rules and routes. As construction begins, the world watches with awe and anxiety. The Kra Canal is a $50 billion gamble on Asia's future. It offers prosperity for some, decline for others. It's changing not just trade, but the very relationships between nations. The channel through Thailand is a new reality, one that will define power, trade, and conflict for decades. The world is being reshaped, one shovelful at a time. 